time, I'll go back to when I was in the NFL. So I always wanted to have a car dealership ever since I was little. Um, I wrote in a journal, you know, of things that I wanted to do and, uh, you know, what I want to do when I grow up. And one of the things was I put in there that I wanted to own a car dealership. Don't ask me why. Um, one of the reasons was because I wanted to give people a good deal. I felt like for some reason in the automotive industry, it seems like people get hosed or that's what the perception. Everybody thinks that, oh, this guy's going to gouge me or whatever. So I thought if I can get in and give people a good deal um, and still make money, you know, and be able to help people out, that's kind of my whole MO of why I wanted to do it. Um, so when I was in the NFL, I had the opportunity to buy into a dealership. Uh, I knew one of the owners, didn't know the other, other guy. Uh, ended up buying into it, really only lasted about two years. One guy was taking money. Uh, long story short, we ended up closing it. Then I opened my own dealership by myself. And I had that for about six years. Um, had that, we were doing good. We were selling about anywhere from kind of a range of 50 to 80, you know, and our, our, our peak time was about 80. Our average was probably right around that 50 number, you know, during our slow times. So we were doing pretty good. And then they did construction in front of my dealership. Um, and we were on in Utah, we're on state street and which is car Mecca heaven. You know, you drive down state street and it's dealership, dealership, dealership. Um, but they did this construction in front of me and we went from that 50 to 80 to two to three for two years. It just killed me. I mean, I tried to think of everything I could do just sitting there twirling my thumbs going, what can I do to get people to come in? So, you know, we ended up, lo and behold, we ended up closing it. And then um, I ended up going to Dealer Socket, which does CRM. They do websites, they do inventory, they have a bunch of other tools. Um, and then I left there, and then uh, I've come over to uh, um, Fusion Zone uh, as of recent. So, yeah, that's kind of me in a nutshell. Yeah, we're super excited to have you and your wealth of experience behind you. Uh, so, you said your, your dealership sold about you know, 50 at its peak. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, how, how large in terms of like square footage would your dealership? Because, you know, obviously some dealers have, have like lots on lots. Yeah. How big were, how big of a square footage you have? My lot was 1.6 acres and we okay. had, about, um, we were, we had about a hundred and our top was about 120, 120 cars on the lot. Um, but yeah, so about 1.6 acres and. You know, I'd say we're probably into that middle range of, of a car dealership. Gotcha. What do you think is a, so obviously we have independent dealers that we have OEM manufacturers out there with their own stores, you know, Toyota of whoever, uh, Honda of whoever. What do you think some of the challenges were running an independent store versus running your, or like what would be running an OEM store? I would say the biggest thing is budget, right? Um, most of the time on, in the independent store, so I wore many hats. I, I was the janitor. I was the lot guy. I was the picture taker. I did. I wore so many different hats, and I just, I just did what I had to do, right? And and that's what you do. And I would say the biggest difference between me and an OEM. Did I want to be an OEM? Yeah, sign me up, right? It seems like you got marketing. You've got you know the the, the OEM is doing marketing and stuff for you to get people to drive to drive to your lot. Um, but the biggest thing I would say would probably be that budget thing. You know what I mean? And marketing dollars and, you know, having the, the big OEMs behind you, um, at the independent store, like I said, it's me and I had, you know, three other people at the dealership. I had an office manager, two sales guys, you know, and it was, it was just us. And we kind of did a little bit of everything. So, I, I mean, yeah, I'd say the biggest thing was that budget. How did you plan and manage that? Very carefully because it wasn't very big and it didn't go very far. Um, <laughs> seriously, I mean, uh, for what my budget was, these guys probably, you know, spend in toilet paper. Um, but <laughs> but um, I was very, very careful, man, because you only have so much money that you can use, right? And every penny, you're watching it, you know, it's almost like, uh, do I really want to give this out, you know? And it was really hard because, you know, being at the dealership, a lot of times you, you're waiting all day long for the up bus. You know, you're sitting there going, man, what can I do to get people to come in? What can I do? You know, um, the main thing in, 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 a, in a dealership, you know, everybody knows the three L's, right? Location, 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 right? right. You, you have to have the right location. And that is, that is everything, is being in the right spot and then being able to have people come 
to your storefront. You've got to be able to entice people to come in. And, you know, it was just, seriously, that, handing that money out every month. You got Auto Trader. You got all these different vendors that are there every month. They're there to get their pound of flesh. You know what I mean? Hey, mm -hmm. do, you need more? do you want some more upsells? Hey, do you want some more of this? You want some more of that? You know, and literally it was, you're just super careful with every dollar that's going out. You're trying to, you're trying to recoup some of that ROI. Me getting into the car business, you know, I wanted to give people a deal and me looking at Fusion Zone, looking at their websites, looking at their product offering. And our big thing is we're here to help the dealer. If you look at our org, our org chart and our, our, our organization, I'll be honest, we have three sales guys and we have 75, you know, in essence, 75 support people. Okay. That should tell you a lot about our company, right? Mm -hmm. Support is everything. So going back to, you know, <laughs> not having that big old budget, um, doing business with a company that's there to help you. What are your common options for independent dealers for like website? Um, so yeah, that's a, I, I mean, we have a bunch of different options as well, but one of the things that I do like about our tool, um, compared to some of the other places I've been is a lot of times independent dealers, they're low men on the totem pole, right? They're like, uh, we don't want to work with them. A lot of times, a lot of vendors won't work with them at all. Like there's a lot of big, a lot of big vendors that don't even bother with the independent. They're just like, eh, we're not going to do business with them. We're not going to do anything with them. But with Fusion Zone, our websites are all custom, right? We have custom websites, um, which is huge, right? You're not just getting a templated, oh yeah, hey, everybody's website looks the exact same. Um, we have a lot of the features on the websites that look the same, but all the websites are custom, right? They're 100% custom, um, and they take more work, right? There's more effort that has to go into that. It's not just, hey, here's a cookie cutter, you know, oh, let's just hand out a bunch of those Honda Civics, you know, and just, just, just throw them out there. These are all custom sites, which is huge. So when you're running a budget and it's very mm -hmm. tight with dollars, mm -hmm. you only have a couple options that you can really go out there and spend on. What do you think the most important pieces for a website are for an independent? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, that's a great question, Dan. Um, the big thing um, with any piece of, you know, number, number, number one, like I mentioned before, you got your three L's, right? Location, location, location. Have a great location. Now, the reason why you have that great location is because your frontage, right? You have your, your frontage, you have your dealership frontage, and you want people to be able to see and go, oh, that looks awesome. That car looks awesome. You know, there, there's a lot of good drive-by traffic. There's a lot of good things with that. Well, the next best thing to location, location, location is website, 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 right? That is your digital that's your digital uh, uh, frontage for your dealership. Your website is your di digital frontage for your website. So on top of location, location, loca location, you need to have a really, really good website. And when I had my dealership, this is something I didn't know. Like literally, I managed, I managed my own website, put my own inventory on. It was horrible. Talk about Google. I, didn't. I was just like, hey, I put my stuff out there and people want to see it. They can see it. You know, and I just hope for the best. But knowing what I know now, location having a great location having a good website i mean people driving by they're going to be able to see but then they want to go to the website and they're going to check it out so having a good website and then on top of that making sure that the people that do come to your website you actually get a hold of them in a timely manner right um according to google 78 percent of the business goes to the first responder so if somebody goes past your dealership or they're just shopping they see this cool car at your lot and it kind of gets them interested and they go in and they put a lead into your place off of your website and you take a day to get back to them. How many other or leads have they put into other places? So going back to your question, what's the most important? You got to have a great location. Number two, you've got to have a great website. Number three, you've got to get those customers out of the market as fast as you possibly can. Um, and we have tools to do that. Like we talked about earlier, fastering, right? Lead comes in within 60 seconds of that lead coming in, you're going to have a sales guy in contact with that customer within 60 seconds, which is huge. National average right. is 45 minutes. That's ridiculous. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we hear from dealers all the time how they're moving away from uh, this stigma that it gets, oh, just car dealers in general, but used car dealers. I mean, 
I mean, there's a special place in hell for a lot of these people. <laughs> I mean, that's the way that's the way they're perceived as. So how important is having a good support team for an independent? The difference, be, I think the difference between a good company and a great company is when you have an issue, they're there to help you, right? You can actually call somebody. Um, you're able to get a hold of them. Uh, in our, our organization, right, you've got a sales guy that sold you the deal, so you can contact them. But on top of that, you've got a PM that's responsible for your account as well. So you have kind of a, a hierarchy of people that you can call to get support. But in my opinion, in this day and age, you have to have a good support model. And a lot of the, a lot of the companies now, that's gone out the window. Like the, one of the last companies I was at, I, I should say, um, but their whole thing was they had a lot of support people. And uh, a company came in and, and bought us. And the first thing they did was they cut support. We had about 380 um, support guys. And they cut that 380 to about 80, you know. So, wow. so support is, is huge. You're going to have issues. You need to be able to get a hold of them. And when you have a templated site, guess what they're going to say? Well, that's what you paid for, right? That's what you paid for. You got that, you got that little templated site. Nobody else is having that issue. But, um, yeah, we'll – We'll get to it when we get to it or send me an email and let me see when it happened or whatever. You know, our average ticket turnaround is better than anybody else's. It's, it's phenomenal. So what parts of the website do you think independents need the most support with? Um, I would say probably your inventory changes. You're changing your inventory all the time. Um, I would think that would probably be a big one, right? So, I mean, I remember at my dealership, I accidentally, you know, missed a zero. Right, and then you put that baby out there on the market, and you start getting a ton of calls, and then you've got to go, like, oh, I've got to go put a statement out that I didn't, I did it on, you know, I did it on accident. And when you're trying to do it yourself, and it takes forever, it takes a day or two to, you know, come off. Um, I would think that inventory, you know, making sure your inventory is up to date, and uh, uh, you know, when there's when there are issues or whatever, that someone can take care of that fast. So when you're putting in these requests, what's going to separate in your mind as an independent store owner? Good support, bad support. Great, great question. So a lot of times when you have an issue, most of the companies will say, send me an email, right? Send me an email and uh, we'll put it in our queue and we'll get to it when we get to it, right? Um, with us, you can call your sales guy and you also have your PM, right? And then you also have a support number that you can call anytime. But a lot of the big boys, you know, the... That's just how it is, you know? It's okay, hey, you can submit a ticket um, and we'll try to get to it. We'll put it in line and try to get to it with the other million people that we have. Um, but that's, that's the big difference is you have our, you know, we're not so big, we're, we're a good sized company, but we're not so big that we take off uh, that, that human touch, right? It's not just send us an email, add it in a queue. There's no personal touch to it whatsoever. So I really like that. So you're, I mean, you're talking to a lot of independents nowadays uh, while you're here at Fusion Zone. What are some of the topics that come up a lot while you're discussing, you know, what options we have here, or what options they're looking for? Got you. So one of the things that I, I really like about our, our product is we have a product in our, our middle package. We basically have a guarantee, right? And I know a lot of people don't put that out there, but we have a guarantee that if you do our best practices, we will guarantee to double your conversions. Now, what does that mean, right? We're gonna double your conversions. You're gonna double my sales. So I'll explain it. The way it works is right now, based off of the people that come to your website, there's a certain amount of those that convert to leads, right? They actually submit a lead. And what we're saying is we will double that number, okay? And um, it's, it's not rocket science by all means, but what we do is we go in for this guarantee if you have our, 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 our advanced package, um, we will go in, we look at your months before and we say, okay, out of all the people that are coming to your website, what's the percent that actually submit a lead? And our guarantee is that we will double that. So in essence, we're doubling the opportunity for your guys to close a deal. Now, if you add the rest of the best, best practices that we offer, the fast ring, uh, chat, um, the, the, the chat feature is phenomenal as well. Our chat, in essence, gives your dealership another sales guy. So their whole point is to try to get that customer via through chat. It's actually somebody texting the customer back and forth. They're chatting back and forth through text and they're trying to set that appointment for you. 
when this isn't a sales guy at your dealership, but it's when your sales guys, it's either for your after hours or if they're busy, um, you can have it go to our overflow chat and their whole job is to try to set the appointment. So it's going to give you another salesperson. You get a person you don't need to manage if this works off your website. That's a huge boost to your productivity as an independent dealer, especially if you're working with a small staff. And I think um, people, don't, people don't realize that, right? People don't, I mean, when I go into these dealerships, you know, if, when I, when I go back and I think about, okay, I, I, I'm a sales guy, right? So I'm trying to sell these guys. And I think, what would I, what would I want to, what could I hear that would make me want to buy? Right. That's kind of the big thing. Like, what, what could I, what could you say to me that would make me want to buy your product? And I, I put myself in their shoes. I'm sitting there, I, I'm at my dealership. What could somebody say to me that would make me want to buy it or at least try it? And if somebody came into me and said, Hey, Ed, Mr. Keel, whatever, you know, we believe in our product so much that we're guaranteeing that we're going to double your conversions. Right. And I'm sitting there thinking if, if, a, if a vendor came in and said that to me and they go, you know, if we don't double your, if we don't double your conversions, we give you your money back. I would raise my hand in a heartbeat and say, okay, let's do it. Let's try it. Let's, let's go down that road. Prove me, prove me, right? Prove me now. See, see if I, see if what I'm saying is true. And if that's going to work, um, that's the, and like I said, most, most people, I think they hear it and they go, oh, it sounds too good to be true. Well, we're doing it right. And then right. you say, we're going to give you another sales guy. Our chat feature is this, it's going to give you another sales guy. And it's like, uh, is, it, is it really? It's like, try it and see. You're, you have nothing to lose, right? It's our best practices. We know it works. We have thousands of dealerships and we know it works. You know, you're converting at a 1% right now. We get you to a 5%. I mean, that's Jeez. a huge increase here. Your, yeah. your, your, your sale capability. Yeah. Uh, the national um, average conversions is 1.79. Yeah, right. just, and we're at 3.54 percent. So you're two to three times your conversions, right? Which is, it's it's massive, you know. And going back, not to going back, right? I get excited about some things, right? But I I think about this sitting in my dealership, right? And I'm like, what can I do to generate more revenue? What more revenue? More people coming in. So, right. like I said, I played in the NFL, and my dad talked me into doing a commercial, right? And I'm like, that's a lot of money. It costs a lot of money to do it. And he's like, you need to do it. Everybody knows who you are. You know, you need to do it. And you're going to get a lot of people that come in. And I'm like, oh, I really did not want to do it. So, but I was like, you know what? I'll try it, right? I'll try it and see. And I go, I want to see, I want to be able to tell how many people actually are coming in off of this commercial. So I offered a free, this was back a long time ago, but it was like a 50 inch TV, right? This was back before that, that was. Oh big. yeah. And that was a big deal, right? Everybody wanted a 50 inch TV. So I figured they're going to tell me that, Hey, by the way, I saw your commercial and you're going to, you know, give me that TV. I, I saw that. Right. And so I, that was part of the commercial. So I did this big commercial cost me about $70,000. So, and it ran for, I think two months or a month and a half. I can't remember exactly. Six good weeks. Period. Yeah, it was a good, it was a good period. Um, how many cars do you think I sold off of that? Well, you're telling the story. So it's going to be really high or really low. <laughs> uh, I want to say five. Five. I sold zero. Seventy five dollars. <laughs> zero. Zero cars. Right. And it was a huge waste. It cost me seventy thousand. And that's my budget. Is not my budget was about five ten thousand dollars a month for marketing. And here right. I was. I just put all this money out there, and I got nothing in return. And literally just going. Using our website, we're going to double, triple your conversion. So we're basically going to give you two to three times the amount of leads you're getting now. I, sometimes I, you know, there's a, there's a little video. Um, I have a little thing when I do a presentation. And in that presentation, there's a, a, a guy, it's in the colonial period, and he's in a tent. And out the front of the tent, there's a colonel, he's on his, he's on his horse, and they've got arrows and everything, and they're getting ready to go to war. And he got a sales guy at the back door and he's got a Gatlin gun and he's like, Oh, Mr. General, I need to, I need a minute of your time. And the general's getting ready to take off. And he's like, I don't have any time to see your demo. Right. I've got a war to fight. And I feel that way with this tool, right? I've got a Gatlin gun and you've got bows and arrows, you know, I'm going to double to triple your conversions. And you're like, yeah, uh, I don't really know if I want to try it or whatever. Uh, and the guys that do, they see great success, but it's kind of interesting because 
literally you kind of feel that way, right? I've got right. a gambling gun and I'm trying to get these guys to, to do it and to use it. And sometimes it's hard. And I think a lot of times it was like, is it really going to work? And you have to take that plunge. You, you have to take the chance. Like, it's not going to cost you seventy thousand dollars, right? Our, our websites yeah. go from you know you're talking four or five hundred bucks, and they go up from there. You know, uh, what are you most excited on the horizon? Um, I'm excited for hopefully COVID to be in the past. Um, that's <laughs> number one, right? <laughs> hopefully that's going to be gone. Um, and then we do have Fast Ring 3.0 that's going to be coming out, and I'll just tell you some of the cool things about that over the old Fast Ring. Uh, one of the great things is we have the ability to do multiple attempts. Um, and what that means to you uh, it, it, at a dealership level is now we have the ability to go in and say, okay, uh, if you have a BDC or, for instance, we call into the store um, to try to get a hold of a sales guy and they're all busy, for instance. They're all busy, can't get a hold of anybody. So then what we do is we have multiple attempts. So we can say, let's wait 10 seconds and then let's try again, right? And give them the opportunity. The whole point of fast ring is to get you in contact with that customer at their peak of interest. Literally 60 seconds after they hit submit, we want them on the phone talking to your sales guys, setting an appointment. So the multiple attempts is going to help. Our, also our reporting is going to be uh, a, a really, uh, there's a big update on that as well, on being able to inspect what you expect of your guys. You know, how long are they on the phone? How, uh, how long is their phone calls lasting? How long is it taking them to respond? How many attempts is it taking? You know, do, you, do I need to hire more guys? When are the majority of my calls coming in? Which is another, another huge thing. And then on top of that, who are my top lead providers? What are my top vendors, right? How many, uh, I got so many from AutoTrader, but you know, how many, what's my average talk time to AutoTrader customers compared to CarGuru's customers? You know, how many leads are duplicates? that are coming in, you know, it's gonna be able to give you a great ROI report. You can be able to look at that and say, who are my top vendors? And then who are my bottom guys? And maybe you can get rid of some of those guys, right? You know that they're not working. One thing I hated at my dealership is you're forking money out all day long to these guys and you have no idea. What's my return? What's my return? You have no idea, right? All you know is, oh, people are coming in. It could be a duplicate from somewhere else that already, you know, saw something else, but we're gonna be able to help you with that. So. Um, I'm really excited about fast ring and what that has to offer. And it is a super great tool, right? And one of the things I always say is the only thing that come to those who wait are the things left behind by those who hustle. So That's a beautiful saying. Yeah. And on that note, Ed, always a pleasure to talk to you. I really appreciate you giving us your time here today. Uh, I will hopefully have you on very soon for another round of discussion. Okay. Well, thanks. And thanks for your time. Of course. Thanks for coming and joining our webinar today. If you'd like to know more about Fusion Zone's independent websites, you can visit us at fzautomotive.com. That's F as a Frank, Z as a zebra, automotive.com. Talk to you guys soon.